the Los Angeles Rams, 13 and three last year, made the Super Bowl, maybe, maybe fraudulently. We, I won't say fraudulently. I will say they got a little help. They got a lot of help. There you go. To win the division, odds are minus 175 out in Vegas. Their strength of schedule, number 25. So pretty weak strength of schedule. Turnover margin, they were number four last year, plus 11 in the league. Head coach is Sean McVay. Obviously, everybody and their mother loves this kid. Over under is 10 and a half. The juice on the over, plus 120. Now, the juice on the under, minus 140. So Vegas is right there, like a, probably about 10. Total yards per play, they were number three last year, 6.2 yards per play on offense. McVay calls the plays on offense. They signed quarterback Blake Bortles as their backup. Uh, if he can turn something in, like if he can turn Blake Bortles into anything, that is a miracle job. They drafted running back Daryl Henderson. Of course, we all know that Todd Gurley has had problems, arthritic knees, etc. Daryl Henderson is explosive as they come. Uh, he will be a big time, uh, I won't say upgrade. I just, I have a lot of faith in this kid. If he has to take over the job because Ty Gurley can't physically do it, he's going to do just fine. I think he'll be offense. fine. Uh, defensive coordinator is Wade Phillips. Their total yards per play last year. I think this was more of, hey, we are just so much better than everybody. We don't really care. But they were number 25 in the NFL. Now, we know that the defense was better than that. But no, I think they were pretty easy to throw on. I don't know they, the defense no, but was it, better than but that. But they were easy to throw on after the team had already gone up a lot because they, they gave up a lot of big leads. Um, and I think it was, we know that we are talented. We know that we are good. We don't really have to put forth as much effort. I think that's what happened last year. Uh, they gave up 5.9 yards per play, but we, we still trust Wade Phillips. Yeah, right. I mean, I think losing in Dominican Sue in the middle is going to hurt. I think people are going to be able to run on them a little easier than they did last year because yep. of that. And uh, I think the, the the not that they got a lot of pressure, but that's going to hurt pressure. I mean, they yeah. they still have Aaron Donald, who is still a freak. But they signed free safety Eric Weddle. They uh, signed yeah. linebacker Clay Matthews. I don't see um, either of those as big signings. And they, well, both of them are expected to start. That's well, kind yeah, of a but I don't thing. know that that's a good thing. Uh, drafted safety Taylor Rapp from Washington. Uh, they are a projected favorite in 13 games. I think they take a, a little step back this year. Um, I've got them at 10 and 6. I think this division is pretty good. I think you, you, coming off of a Super Bowl loss, of course, we all know what the trend is. I think 10 and 6 is actually pretty good here. I, I got them 10 and 6 too. And I know so some of this is going to be homerism, but some of this is going to be the way the season starts. I I think they're going to have their first touch of like real questioning who we are and, and what we do. I think they start off 0-3. 0-3? I, I think they have to start the season off going to Carolina. So that's a noon game for a West Coast team against a team that I think is really good this year. Cam's going to be healthy and ready for that team. They got New Orleans coming to them, and I will bet – Every nickel I have that New Orleans not just wins that game, but New Orleans goes to Los Angeles and whips their butt. That is that is going to be a team where if New Orleans loses, it's because their defense gets massive amounts of penalties because they're going to hurt folks. You think Bounty Gate was thing? This is going to get ugly. Yeah. Trust I, me on that. And then they go to Sunday night football in Cleveland. Now, you can call me a homer all you want. Primetime football has not been in Cleveland in over a decade. Okay, Monday night or Sunday night football, the primetime game of the week hasn't been in, in Cleveland in over 10 years. It's been 11, 12 years, something like that. I'm telling you, that place is going to be insane. You want to talk about home field advantage? They, That's going to be a game where, where things could unravel quick. Let's see. Saints, they are expected to be favored by three points in week two. Saints or the Rams? The Rams. I, don't, I think the Saints are going to win outright, and I think they're going to win nasty. The Rams, Maybe not big, but nasty. The Rams, I think that game's going to be more physical than we think. The Rams are expected to be a three-point favorite at the Panthers, at home against the Saints, and at the Browns. No, no question about it, and that's fine. Because West Coast teams going to East Coast teams in the morning times, it, it just is just a normal bet that you, you bet the East Coast team. 
Yeah. And, and, and that normally works out okay. And I think Paraline is a lot better than than most people. So. Yeah. It's, and I, I can, it's I can my understand. opinion on two of these teams, and my thought on the Saints are – they're gonna be mad. This gonna be this gonna be ugly. Yeah. They don't have to wait very long to get revenge. Week yeah. two. Week two. 